Hi, this is Emily from Minute Earth. Although the things we eat and drink are all sorts of colors, they all come out the other end looking either brown or yellow. And actually, our digestive systems destroy pretty much all of the colors in our food, turning what's left into a grayish mass. The pigments that show up in our poop and pee come not from our food, but instead from our blood. That's largely because our bodies produce an insane number of red blood cells. But these cells have no way of maintaining or repairing themselves. So they only last for a few months before becoming so stiff and inflexible that they're forced to retire. If all the retiring red blood cells went straight to the toilet and took all their oxygen-carrying iron with them, our poop and pee would be red. But our bodies would also quickly run out of iron for making new red blood cells and we'd die. Instead, white blood cells engulf their red comrades and crack them open to reclaim the precious iron, leaving the disposable iron wrappers to degrade into a molecule called bilirubin. The liver tries to clean bilirubin from the bloodstream by sweeping it into the intestines. But unfortunately, the intestines mistake it for food and push it right back into the bloodstream. In other words, left to their own devices, our bodies send bilirubin on an infinite loop and never actually get rid of it. Fortunately, certain gut bacteria break the cycle by intercepting bilirubin and chewing it into a slightly different molecule called urobilinogen, preparing it to finally leave the body by two possible routes. In route number one, urobilinogen first gets treated just like bilirubin and put back into the bloodstream. But from there, it gets slurped up by the kidneys, which recognize it as trash and process it accordingly into a molecule that happens to be yellow before passing it along to the bladder, which passes it along to the toilet, or to wherever. In route number two, microbes back in the intestines happen upon the urobilinogen and chew it into a dark brown molecule that lurches all the way to the end of the colon, mixing with the grayish remains of our food to turn the final product its familiar shade. In short, roses are red, red blood cells are too, bacteria turn them into the brown of our poo except when our kidneys end up making them yellow, in which case, always remember to let it mellow. This episode of Minute Earth is supported in part by Tab for a Cause, a browser extension that donates to charity each time you open a new tab, without costing you anything. Just by browsing the web, people like you have raised more than $300,000 for charity through Tab for a Cause. Click the link in the video description to start tabbing for your cause today.